To the dramatic tale of those two Amish girls abducted right in front of their own home. The police facing a difficult investigation trying to find them without any pictures because the Amish shun photography. And then mysteriously, the girls were dropped off some 30 miles away. And tonight, an ABC News exclusive here, the couple that opened their front door to find them. ABC's Gio Benitez in upstate New York. Tonight, hours after those two little Amish girls were found alive and safe, we're learning new details about their dramatic return home, right from the couple who reunited them with their family. I peeked out the window and I saw two Amish girls and I knew instantly it had to be the ones that were missing. It was Wednesday night when police say six-year-old Delilah and 12-year-old Fanny were abducted while working their family's vegetable stand near Oswagachi, New York. After more than 24 hours of intense and complicated searches stretching all the way to the Canadian border, the girls reappeared 30 miles away from home on a random street in Richville. We're told the alleged kidnappers dropped the girls off somewhere along this road. They walked it cold and wet in the rain, and then they knocked on this door. The homeowner opens up the door, recognizes them from news reports, and takes them home. But before going home, Jeff and Pam Stinson tell ABC News exclusively tonight the children were starving. They ate the watermelon in 30 seconds. <laughs> it was fast. It was a challenging search for Delilah and Fanny. The Amish don't like to be photographed, so there were no photos of the girls to begin with. Just this police sketch of the 12-year-old. Amazingly, Jeff knew exactly who that 12-year-old was. I used to buy corn there. And you used to buy corn there? I used to yes. buy corn there, and that the oldest girl used to bag the corn that I bought. The girl's parents don't have a phone, so he couldn't call them, and alerting the police might have created too much of a scene. So he drove them, but on the way, a scare. Short distance from our house, there was a car on the side of the road, and the girls, that's the car, and they ducked down under the seats of the truck. Jeff and Pam were able to get the girls safely to their own front door. If somebody found my daughters, I would have wanted them to uh, do the same for me. The couple doing this interview because they say there's too much tragedy in the world, and tonight they wanted to share some good news. Meanwhile, police say they are now looking for more than one alleged kidnapper, and they've narrowed their search, David. We're just glad those girls are back home, Gio. Thank you.